Hello everyone, welcome back to Paul's Messy Bench Models. Today I've got a quick tip for you on uh, how to simulate fabric upholstery. I was uh, working on my Ford Fairlane here and I was uh, pondering how I could uh, recreate a fabric texture on the back seat there. And I was stumped until I remembered a trick I'd heard of for simulating carbon fiber by airbrushing through mesh. And I thought, hmm, I bet I could make that work. Um, I already have my seats installed, so it would have been difficult to get a mesh flat against the seat to spray through it. But I had the idea that if I took some mesh like this which is basically a craft gift wrapping ribbon and I got some decal film clear decal film I could tape it down to the decal film and uh, airbrush through that and then apply the decal to the seat to get the fabric effect And if you don't have clear decal film, you can buy it in sheets. This comes from Microscale. You can buy it online if your uh, local hobby shop doesn't have it. So sometimes the uh, the ribbon or whatever you're using for a mesh material doesn't get flat against the decal sheet, but as you airbrush it, if you uh, just bend a curve in it, that will uh, flatten it up against the paper. Um, I have tried using um, spray paint for this method, but uh, I've found that spray paint just puts out too much material and you wind up uh, gluing the ribbon to the decal paper. Um, you really want to just use a mist coat. You don't want to get the decal paper really saturated and you don't want to glue the ribbon down to the paper. And you want to keep your airbrush uh, basically perpendicular to the surface because you want the fibers of the uh, ribbon to have a masking effect. You don't want to get the paint underneath it. So here you can see that I've sprayed uh, some Tamiya gunmetal through the mesh onto the decal paper. And that is the pattern. So this scrap piece is just painted with a aluminum color and we've got the gunmetal colored decal. Oops, I wrinkled it a little bit, but good enough for demonstration purposes. So there you can see You could use that to simulate carbon fiber, upholstery. Um, you can find other mesh-like materials like photo etch or window screen and spray that and get different textures and different patterns. But there you go. Have fun with it. Maybe if you did two different colors you could make plaid. <laughs> 